welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys, the Barcelona News Roundup coming up today and we have so much to discuss in today's video because just before we get started, have a look at this. This this morning is the Barcelona players arriving at the training ground. How long has it been since we've even seen this? And although it may not seem like anything major, it's not really a big deal. They're not even with the ball here, they're not even out on the training field, but they are back at the training ground and that is fantastic news as clearly they you can see in the masks with the gloves all the precautions are certainly being taken and this is what we wanted to see football on the road back, like I say, it isn't here yet. It's not just around the corner. But at the same time, these steps had to be taken. We are on that path now. It's getting closer. And we are going to talk in today's video about Luis Suarez, about his recovery, about exactly what's expected of him as he's about to return, and also Usman Dembele's situation after he didn't get tested today for the virus. All that coming up, along with some transfer news as well. Let's get into it now. Come on. But I want to start first and foremost with a cover this morning from Sport. And I don't usually give Sport a huge amount of praise for their accuracy. But I kind of feel as though this is one of the first times in history where their cover has been 100% accurate. What does it say? It says Courtois... Why don't you shut up? And I want to explain exactly what they mean by that. Because yesterday, Thibaut Courtois came out in an interview and he said the following words. He honestly said this. He said, if they decide to stop the competition and Barcelona are named champions there of La Liga, I wouldn't find it completely right. He said they drew once against us and they lost once against us. We showed we are the better team. And I'm not being funny here. But does he know how the league season works? Because that's not really how the league table there is decided, is it, Thibaut? Because that's why all the teams do play 38 games over the course of a season to actually determine there who is the best team. It's not just about your games against your rivals, whether or not you're better than them doesn't really make any difference. All that matters is whoever has the most points is the better team, and that's the team there who are on top of the league. Because you could say, I'm just going to put it out there, you could say that Barcelona managed to beat Real Betis at the Benito Villa Marine, whereas Real Madrid, on the other hand, well, I rest my case. But I also want to bring you here Mundo Deportivo's cover. This one is from Tuesday, where they basically detailed 11 potential reinforcements to the Barcelona squad this summer. And I thought this one there would be quite interesting to look at, because as you can see, they are detailing there all of the players who are going to be coming back on loan, all the new players that are going to be added to the Barcelona team next season. And there really is an abundance there of options if Barcelona cannot go out into the transfer window as maybe they expected to. Certainly they could start to look from within. You've got Musa Wagge, who we're going to talk about in a bit of detail in just a moment's time. You've got Oriol Busquets there, who spent some good, good time in Holland with FC20. You've also got Jean-Claire Todibo at Schalke. Miranda also. That loan spell almost certainly is going to be cut short. You've got Carla Chalinha, who MD say is going to be in Kike Setien's plans next season. You've got Matthias Fernandez at Valladolid. I think he's probably going to spend another season. He didn't really get a chance to feature there on loan in La Liga. I think he's going to have another season there before we see what he's made of. Felipe Coutinho, of course, coming back from Bayern Munich, and also Mark Kukurea, who I would still expect to join Hitafe on that permanent deal, but you can't take anything right now for granted in the current market. You've got Pedri coming in from Las Palmas, a young player there who will certainly get an opportunity under Kike Setien whenever pre-season may be. Rafinha from Celta Vigo, who are unlikely now to be able to sign him on a permanent deal, as was expected just a few months ago, and also Francisco Trincao coming in from Braga, and also there, expect to become part of Barcelona's team for next season. And I think that just shows there the abundance of talent that we do have. Yes, we may not be able to make signing after signing after signing, but it's like we spoke about just a few days ago. That may be a good thing. Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's try and develop what we have. Let's try and put faith in the players that we own. And ultimately... There's some good players there. But if we do, just go a little bit further there into the future of Musa Wage, because it officially was announced yesterday that Nice will not be activating their 10 million purchase option to sign Wage on a permanent deal this summer. And that means there they're going to cut his loan short and he will there be returning now to Barcelona. And I just want to make this very clear because it'd be very easy there to say, oh, well, Wage clearly didn't impress them at Nice. He clearly wasn't that good if they didn't want to pay 10 million euros for him. But I think there that would be really, really 
really harsh. He took his time to get himself involved in their team, but he forced his way into it, and in the final two games of the season, he was brilliant. He was absolutely fantastic there on the right-hand side, and he provided an assist in each of those last two games, and they were massive goals for Nice. Nice ended up finishing in fifth place in the league. The league in France, of course, was ended early, and Waggy was a big, big part there in providing those assists for the goals that helped them finish in that position. And I genuinely feel as though if the season hadn't been ended in the way that it has cut short there very, very unexpectedly, I think Nice would have bought Waggy. The finances now, of course, are a lot more stretched. It's a lot more difficult. They've actually returned all of their loanies, Nice. They had three in total. So it's nothing there to do with the performance of Waggy. He did impress there. He did start to force his way into their team. And it remains to be seen exactly now what's going to happen with Moussa Wage. Because given the fact that the season in France is now over, he is going to come back to Barcelona essentially. But they say in Spain right now that it's unexpected that Wage will rejoin Barcelona's training session, given the fact that he should still be on loan with Nice and obviously he's not registered play in La Liga or the Champions League. But it does say there that in the reports from Spain that Wage, if he's not going to be part of that training, he still can train individually at the club's training centre to maintain that fitness ahead of next season. We will have to wait and see what happens to the 21-year-old. But I also want to bring you here some transfer news from Germany, and it's actually here a triple transfer update in relation to three players who've all been linked with Barcelona over the past few weeks, starting firstly here with Thiago Alcantara, who we've mentioned previously would have been set to enter his final year of his contract this summer, with his contract there at Bayern set to expire in 2021. But a Barca reunion was already looking pretty unlikely. It didn't really seem as though Thiago was ever going to return, and it does now look pretty much impossible given the news yesterday that came out of Germany because it's basically said there that Thiago has agreed a contract extension at Bayern which will there see him stay in Germany well into his 30s and that will be announced officially very, very soon. Thiago is not returning. Then there's Leroy Sané, who a few weeks ago had been linked to Barcelona as a potential alternative for Neymar Jr. this summer, but he too also seems to have his heart there set on Bayern Munich, with a contract reportedly being agreed between Sané and Bayern there absolutely closed. All they have to do now, Bayern, is agree a deal with Manchester City, and Sané will become a Bayern player. Finally though, a target that could still be on the table for Barcelona this summer is very much so RB Leipzig centre-back, Diot Upamecano. We've discussed the French defender now on a number of occasions, a young player, very, very highly rated there, good ball playing defender. And I do mention Upamecano here because according to Sport Build in Germany, due to the current situation, the financial situation that we keep discussing in these videos, Leipzig's asking price for Upamecano this summer has actually dropped, according to Sport Build, from 60 million to 40 million euros, which if true, that there is looking like a bargain price and no doubt many, many clubs would be interested. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the coming months. Finally though, we do move on to the situation surrounding Luis Suarez and also Usman Dembele. Let's start first and foremost with Suarez. A few people have been asking me, is he going to be ready? Is he ready to return once football does come back? And it was actually confirmed yesterday, Barcelona did a bit of a live call there with the Barcelona coaching team and the fitness coach, Fran Soto, confirmed that Suarez will indeed return to training with the rest of the squad this coming week. The squad, first of all, will start with that individual training work in very, very small groups as football there starts that process of returning to normal but it's great news there that Suarez is going to be with the rest of the squad with confirmation there that he has recovered from the operation that he underwent in January and it should have kept him out there for four months of football but he's going to be back now and he's one of those who's really used this break to his absolute advantage and that was very much confirmed by the assistant coach yesterday Edda Sarabia he said Suarez's return will be like a new signing for all of us at Barca he said we've seen him working like a savage every single day working as hard as he possibly can to get back as soon as he could. And I personally, I've said this now for a number of months, I'm really, really excited to see what Suarez can do under Setien, under Sarabia, under the coaching staff there at Barcelona, who I feel are going to push Suarez so much more than what we saw under Valverde. I think under Valverde, Suarez got a little bit comfortable, a little bit too comfortable. He needs to be pushed. He needs to be there, forced to be at his best. Because as we know, a motivated, fully firing, fully fit Luis Suarez He's an asset to any team.
And finally, I do just want to clear up this situation surrounding Usman Dembele because there has been a few questions coming my way as well about Dembele because a lot of people are saying, why isn't he going to be tested on Wednesday with the rest of the squad for COVID-19? And the reason for that is because right now, the tests are only meant for players who are officially registered to play in La Liga. And that does not right now include Usman Dembele. Let me just explain why. Because for the long-term injury that Dembele suffered back in February, it meant there that he was no longer registered to play in La Liga. Liga, Barcelona there didn't register him for the rest of the season and instead we replaced him essentially in our squad with our emergency signing Martin Braithwaite who effectively there took Dembele's place in our squad for La Liga for the rest of the season because at the time of course we had no idea that La Liga was going to go on for this long it was expected that Dembele would indeed miss the rest of the season and he still might of course he's not expected back until August but I just want to make it clear though that Dembele is still registered for the Champions League. He may not be registered there for La Liga because we replaced him with Martin Braithwaite. But for the Champions League, he is still very much registered, which basically means that should Dembele return from that injury in August, we don't know yet when the Champions League is going to continue. But when that comes back, if Dembele was to be fit, he can play. So that there guys is the very latest when it comes to Barcelona things are starting to look now a little bit more clear, things are starting to look certainly a little bit more positive with regard to football's return. The players like I say will be tested today for the virus, that's something that's going to happen on a very regular basis and they are going to be in training this coming weekend. Exciting times ahead, those training photos seeing them back there on the field that's going to be great. Thanks as always guys for joining me, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, I'll see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.